which is better an ssd or a hard disk well that's like asking which is better a jet plane or an airliner hi i'm nikhil and i'm manas and welcome to the very first episode of pimp and rig a new series dedicated to pc enthusiasts gamers modders and builders <laughs> So which really is better? Well, the answer to that is pretty simple. When it comes to raw speed, the SSD is way faster than the hard disk. So let's take a look at the major differences between the SSD and the hard disk. So as most people know, the hard disk has a lot of moving parts inside, each performing various functions. There is the disk which stores the data magnetically. Then there are mostly two motors in a regular hard disk: the spindle which spins the disk at speeds of 5400 rpm to 7200 rpm. and the actuator that positions the read write head and the data allocation is performed by the disk controller which is located outside the hard disk where is a solid state drive or an ssd as all the kids like to call it has no moving components the ssd works using circuit assembly and stores data through electronic interfaces into different blocks one of the most important components of the ssd is the fact that the controller is located inside the ssd unlike a traditional hard disk Not only is the controller a part of the SSD, a regular SSD uses NAND flash memory, which is a non-volatile form of RAM. And by non-volatile, we mean that the data remains stored even once the device is powered off. Now let's talk about performance. When it comes to raw speed, the SSD is clearly faster. By faster, I mean approximately 600 times faster than a regular hard disk. While that is true, the difference isn't really noticeable. if you're copying much smaller files exactly the difference is so much more noticeable when transferring a big file or installing a modern game which can take up to 60 gigs of space also the ssd comes in handy with reducing the boot time of an os so let's take a look at the difference in boot time between an ssd and a hard disk the ssd that we'll be using is the sandisk extreme pro faster and boots up in hardly any time as compared to the much slower hard drive and that is because the ssds are really quick in collecting and working with files and programs needed while booting the os as compared to physically moving the disk around to reach those underlying files and programs and not only is the boot time faster on systems with an ssd but so are the read and write speeds as well and to show this we'll be using the popular benchmarking tool crystal disk mark <laughs> Once again as you can see the SSD clearly wins over the hard disk. All right so the SSD is faster but maybe i just want to store data on my computer maybe i just want to view pictures and watch some movies and don't really require super fast speeds. So well, that's where the hard disk comes in handy since a 1 TB hard disk costs a lot less than an SSD of a high storage capacity. At the time of recording this video A 240 gigabyte SSD costs rupees 5,500, and for the same price, you can get a 2 terabyte hard disk. That may be true, but the main purpose of getting an SSD is to run huge programs at a faster rate. When it comes to gaming, the SSD is especially useful in killing the load time. Or if you're a graphic designer, editor, or a 3D artist, the render time drops by a considerable amount. Hard disks are pretty reliable these days. But due to all the moving parts, the wear and tear on the hard disk is much faster than that on an SSD. That being said, if you write a lot on the SSD, the wear and tear does increase. That may be true, but an SSD would probably last you a lot longer than a hard disk. And if you happen to drop your hard disk, well, there it goes. There's a high likelihood that the hard disk will not survive that impact due to all the moving parts in the hard disk. 
and that is where the SSD is superior as well. So you can drop an SSD. Unless you drop it from 30 feet, then it would break. But then again, anything would. Let's put it this way, in an environment where shock is a daily occurrence, the SSD would be a godsend. But if that is not the case, then the SSD can be used to boost the speed of all your programs while the hard disk can be used as the primary storage. Finally, let's talk about noise. Yes, hard disks are way noisier than SSDs. They can even go up to 32 decibels. But that's because of all the moving parts inside, whereas an SSD has no moving parts, thus no noise. So to quickly sum it up, an SSD is faster, lighter, smaller, cooler, consumes less power, more durable and completely silent. But since SSDs are expensive and if the main requirement is for storage, go with the hard disk. But if you want the performance, go with the SSD. But we're not saying you need to choose one out of the two. In fact, you can choose both and you should, like Nickel did. You can use the SSD for all your important programs like video editing, photo editing and gaming. Especially if you're a gamer, an SSD is very important. And of course, if you just want to store movies, pictures and videos, then of course, a hard disk is just fine. Well, thank you for watching this video and we do hope you learnt a lot. Maybe you can show this video to your parents and convince them into buying that SSD. Fingers crossed. And if you like this video and want to see more, hit like, share and subscribe. And if you want us to answer any questions or you have a cool suggestion, tip or even a cool mod, let us know in the comments below and maybe you may just be featured on this series.